Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we have here is Iron Factories IFEX24. This is set C. It comes with, it's called the Commander set by the way, it comes with Cannon Chariot, their homage to Onslaught, as well as they call it IFEX16H, which is their Combiner Hunter homage. It was like, a, I think it was an SDCC exclusive, but it came in a multi pack. And it comes with the sword that came with the Hasbro version as well. Now RC is about head to toe, three and a quarter, where Onslaught is just over four inches. I'd say he's about right under four and, four and a quarter inches tall. So let's take a look at the accessories, get a box shot there for you, and then we'll get on to reviewing these guys. Alright, so just giving you guys a roundabout. Of Mr. Chariot Onslaught. And by the way, I am sick right now, really nasally. It's hard for me to even breathe, so if it sounds like I'm talking through my nostrils, I apologize. Not much I can do there. Then over the posability, he's got some downward neck movement. Not a lot of upward. I wish that this part right here tabbed in or actually locked in that make it a lot easier to pose the neck but it kind of is what it is the shoulders because of the transformation they have some up and down movement as well as that rotation there and that part moves out of the way but for 360 double jointed elbows but I prefer just to use the lower one which goes past 90 degrees if you need some more of course he does have wrist swivel 360 waist articulation for some reason I think it's because they it's the hip for war giant as well but that is ratcheted kind of unnecessary but you know said so not a lot of backswing this skirt unfortunately doesn't move out of the way at all but can do a split the knee bend just below 90 degrees good ankle tilt and these flaps are actually supposed to be down, so my bad. Alright. Now these push in really easy, I've noticed. Those are his heels. So make sure those are out. They do help him stand. Very much so. And ankle tilt, it's okay. Alright, we'll actually give him... We'll just blast the camera. And no transformations in this video. That'll be a separate video. Both will be on the review as well. The full review on kumastyle.com. Lots of pictures of this guy though as well. Alright. There we go. And again, this is IFEX16H. Combiner Hunters version of RC and pretty cool stuff I really like the black and pink deco in general this is where I feel like the chibi style faces maybe would have been better left behind because this color scheme especially it's a very tough intimidating look and that face really throws it off but if you if we zoom in here we can see even the minor detail like the piece of pink there on the face is just like the bigger Hasbro Deluxe. So that's pretty cool. And you can see she can store all three of her weapons that she comes with here. So we'll get this, the big cleaver out of the way first. Now you have a couple of options there. You can have her hold it like that. Or she can dual weld it. That back piece actually comes off. It's not exactly mm, Obari Mania, but it's, it's something. She just doesn't have the articulation to pull it off, but like I said, something better than nothing. I'm trying to get these pieces here together. It makes me wish she did have some wrist articulation there. That would definitely help in this case. Alright, 
get this backpack as back as far as possible. Actually, that's not too bad. Alright, I see you. I see you. In fact, let's go ahead and get that above. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll do one with her, with both of her swords. It's kind of a articulation and accessories show. Now she doesn't have a. You could you got two ways. You could go through here. All right, so the flight stands. They come with like the secrets and stuff like that. They do have a peg that fits in there. Or you can also use the bigger peg as well. So the way you use the bigger peg, I don't know why I'm tossing it around, but alright. That's what I'm doing. There's a hole in the sword itself, which pegs in perfectly to there. And it's cool because it's not touching the figure or anything like that. And if you're like me, maybe shooting on a white background, it really helps with not getting the figure caught in any of the sand or any like, I don't know how to describe it, but the sand's not going through them or anything like that. So when this becomes invisible, all you see is the figure. No parts covered. There's that. All right, here's the all mode. And all the wheels roll. All of the blasters. Modular, have some playability there, but pretty straightforward, I would say at least. And just a shot with all three of these guys. Ken Chariot, then there's Swindle, as well as Brawl there. Alright, and the alt mode for the Hunter version of their RC. She doesn't come with a stand or any kind of adapter for a stand, so that's why it's kind of off center there. That's the best I could do, unfortunately. But it may look better if I just hold it in my hand. But pretty cool stuff. I like it. I like the weapon storage. Really can't complain. I mean, it's a hover car, so there are no moving wheels to it or anything like that, but there you go. Alright, and all of that extra accessory kibble, whatever you want to call it, comes this trailer. Eventually their vortex is going to be able to go on there as well, but you just connect like so. Right there. And this is adjustable in that area there, but all wheels roll. Right now it's kind of eh, but I think once once you get blast off connected and things like that, then it'll be it'll be a lot better. And that's what I meant, blast off, not vortex. Maybe vortex can go over there. I'm not sure, but blast off is the space shuttle. I don't know the name for it yet. There we go. So outside of just becoming a carrier or a trailer, this also has kind of a statue mode here for the onslaught parts where when you're not using them. If you just want to display it as such, I mean. Not really my favorite thing, but some people might like the look of that. For me, if I'm turning it into Bruticus, I'm turning it into Bruticus. Or War Giant, whatever you want to call it. Alright, and lastly, here's the combined mode. So, or at least what we've got so far of the combined mode. On my end, I'm looking at about 
well, we'll get this fin up too. Just over nine inches tall, nine and a quarter inches tall. If you guys are around and about, we can go more in depth with this when the last two release. All right, and there's not too much to them. The pegs are a bit similar for the arms to that DX9 Hulky, they're Devastator. The leg joints go in, or the leg con <coughs> connectors, like Generation Toys' Gravity Builder. Let's take a look at the articulation. I mean, 90 degrees. You got full thigh swivel on each side. And let's go ahead and, these skirts do move. Limited, but still a bit. For the back swing, of course. Can do the splits, that back. And even though the joints are strong, they they glide really well. Great ankle tilt. Right. Got some forward and back play. And the legs are actually held in, or the feet are held in very tight. I guess that does go for the legs too. It's just put together well, and I really look forward to seeing, you know, what this is like and combined because even right now it's fun and it really makes me want the last two to go ahead and be released. Overall, um, when it comes to Ken Chariot, we're giants, set C. I don't know, it's my least favorite so far of the three that I've gotten. Something about, I guess, it, it's true to Onslaught. It's a good look, great articulation. As a toy, it's solid. I'm just not that big of a fan of Onslaught, I guess. Just really drab, mundane colors. You got the tertiary blue and green going on. And just his overall design is blah. The alt mode to me is blah. But it's well worth it to complete the, it's the sum of the whole that this is all about, for me at least. I definitely am into these things for combined mode. So, strongly recommended as a solid toy, decent looking piece. I'm just not an onslaught guy like that, but I don't have any complaints about them at the same time. Just personal preference. Now you can order yours, tfsource.com, Chosen Prime, wherever you want. Some links will be in the description, but check out the full written and pictorial review on kumasel.com as well. Sorry for my nasally ness. I can't even hear myself. It's so crazy right now. So hopefully I feel better soon. And hopefully you guys are having a good holiday season. I'll see you next review. Thanks for watching.